A very warm welcome to a typically wet and rainy day here in the Swiss town of St Gallen, which as you can see from the activity behind me is gearing up for the first of a three-day symposium, the St Gala Symposium, which brings together the biggest names from business and politics in an intergenerational dialogue with the hottest new talents from a younger generation. Uh, they've got a lot of speakers this year, including former Swiss President Doris Leutart, and the theme of this year's conference is Trust Matters. And as part of that theme, they're really making sustainable technology at the heart of how this conference comes together. Well, one man who knows more about engineering and technology and the St Gallus Symposium than almost anyone is this man, Peter Folzer, who's the chairman of ABB and the chairman of the St Gala Symposium. Peter, it must be nice to bring those two roles together today. Yeah, it's absolutely great to have ABB and the symposium together. Symposium working with the young generation, but also cross-generational and uh, bringing both companies, so the company and the symposium to St. Gallen is an absolutely great value for us, specifically as we also can uh, bring our technologies and also some speakers from our side. What kind of technology involvement does ABB have in the symposium this year? Yeah, together with the symposium and Audi, we are delivering uh, the e-mobility to the symposium. That means actually that the students can shuttle around the participants, the speakers, etc. Et, uh, et cetera. So we are bringing our Terra uh, 22 kilowatt uh, charger and Audi brings their, ca their cars. So we have a fully sustainable mobility concept for a conference where trust matters is, is the subject this year and it contributes through that to actually a world which is more sustainable in the longer term and is fully in line with our purpose and our sustainability targets for 2030. This is all about new young talents. How important do you think e-mobility or sustainability more generally is to the people involved in this symposium? I think climate change is important for everybody, but specifically for the younger generation, because they will have uh, to live with the world which we, our generation, actually leaves them behind. And that's where um, sustainable transport, sustainable mobility is very important. So bringing that also into the discussions today uh, with the many leaders uh, either leaders of today or the leaders of tomorrow, which are the younger ones, sustainability, climate change, but also the energy revolution in general are key subjects which we will be discussing the next three days. What kind of uh, discussions or conferences are, are you looking forward to over the next three days? Yeah, we have more than 60 uh, uh, issues being discussed, events, workshops and uh, panel discussions. And for the first time this year, because of the pandemic, we also run not only a physical symposium here, we are actually running also a global symposium, which means we are streaming out the three major hubs, which is St. Gallen, which is New York and Singapore. And in addition to that, we have roughly 10 Swiss embassies around the world, from Africa to North America, but also to Asia, who are streaming at the same time, have local groups discussing the important matters around trust, but also matters around mobility uh, and sustainable future. Uh, how can you grow the uh, in the world in the future without consuming the world? So rare earth metal is a subject, etc. And with that, we hope to make our contribution to the wider discussion on how to take uh, not just the industry and the companies, but the whole generation and the society forward into a different world. Peter, it sounds like a really significant and important discussion you're going to be having. Thanks very much for your time this morning. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, let's move with our e-mobility to the future.